Hello everyone. So for this uh, fourth part, we're actually going to be working with this tiny little rivet down here. Uh, so if we zoom in on the rivet, we're going to have this shape right here. Um, and so how we're going to do this, we're going to build a simple revolve. Uh, so I'm going to build kind of half of this outline. So going from here, I'm going to take an arc down, and then I've got a series of lines, and then the final arc at the end there. So I'm going to work and around that outside profile and then build up to a revolve. All right, so if I switch over here, I'm gonna go ahead, start with a new part. Make sure you switch over to millimeters, grams, and seconds. Um, and let's do a sketch. So I'm gonna work in the front plane. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. Um, and we're gonna start with a center point arc. So I'm going to use the center point arc. I'm going to put the uh, center of my circle right there. It's going to work. I'm going to go this way here. Um, and then from that point, I'm going to go up in like that. Go around. And then for the final piece, I'm going to have a, a final arc so I'm doing another center point arc, put the center down here, and kind of go up like that. All right. And then finally, I'm going to put in a center line going from here to here. All right. So it's not exact, but it is a rough approximation of what we have over here, kind of arc, and then kind of this wandering lines, and then a second arc up there. All right, so let's start from the bottom and work our way up. So I'm gonna add, it's this three and this four, I'm gonna add first. So the three is kind of the height of the arc, and then four is that other piece over there. So let's go back to SolidWorks. So if I go to Smart Dimension, it's this piece right here is actually gonna be four millimeters. All right, and then the distance from here to here, that's gonna be three millimeters. All right, so that is uh, two of the pieces in there. Uh, next, I'm gonna work with this diameter. All right, so the diameter is actually uh, eight inches, which means the kind of center to the outside is gonna be or uh, four millimeters. All right, so go back over here. And so this point here to this point here, I wanna make that four. Well, that's not really exactly what we want, but we should be able to fix that. Well, all right, so let's do it this way. So I'm gonna take this center point here and this point here, and I'm gonna make them, those two, force those two to be vertical. There we go. That's more lined up. We still have to fix the top, but this looks more like the bottom now. All right, so if I go back over here, all right, so now it's five millimeters vertically, followed by that one little one millimeter step, and I also have a five millimeter diameter here so it's gonna be a 2.5 millimeter radius. All right, so going in here, this is gonna be let's try to select that point to that point. Huh. Oh, it's this this little guy here. So escape out of dimensions, yes, that, that midpoint was messing us up. All right, so now I should be able to make this five. That's not quite what I want. So I'm gonna move, just kind of drag this up here. And I'm gonna drag that point up as well. All right, and then smart dimension, I wanna make this one. All right. And then uh, this 
distance right here is going to be 2.5 millimeters. All right, so we can kind of see that there. All right, so if we go back over here, um, we need to change the top a little bit. So the top has a height of two millimeters and overall diameter of 10 millimeters. And so this here to here, that should be, oh, this is measuring diameter. So this should be 10, so measuring to the center line. That changes this a little bit. This is not measuring the center line out, this is measuring diameter. So if I make this five, that should be more appropriate. All right, that looks a little bit better. All right, and somewhere over here is my 10. All right, so the other thing I need to change, I need to dimension from here to here, that should be two millimeters. All right, and the top is still not quite right, and that's because the center point, to make the top flat, I need to put the center point back on this center line over here. So I'm gonna select that point and that line, use the control key again to select more than one piece, and I'm gonna say coincident, which will put that point on the line. All right, so go ahead and do that, and now it's all black, um, it's like we want. We are going to exit out of the sketch. We're gonna go over to features, make sure we still have that sketch selected and we're gonna do revolve. So currently open, yeah, it's gonna close it along the center line, which is fine, and do that. All right, so if we revolve this 360 degrees, that is what we wanna do. All right, and that's all there is to it. So that's our rivet. So go ahead and make sure you save. And with that, we're done.